Hey there, Photoshop lovers. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a simple ribbon from scratch in Photoshop. I will also show you how to customize it into any color you want. Before we get started, kindly hit that subscribe button below. Thanks. Let's begin by creating the canvas or workspace because it is very important. Great, use control and the plus sign to zoom in. In the color swatch panel, click on this color to change the foreground. Navigate to the Tools panel and choose the Rectangle tool and draw a shape just like this one. Click on the Move tool to drop any tool after use. With the shape layer selected, right-click and choose Skew from the drop list. This allows you to manipulate the shape in any angle you want. Hold the anchor point and drag it downwards and commit the changes. Move the shape to the center position and create a copy of it. Reposition the copied shape layer and change the blend mode to multiply so that it makes it easy to see the layer behind it. Grab the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection around that area. Press the D key to reset the foreground to default setting. Hold Alt to inverse the selection and add a layer mask to hide the selected parts. Add a transparent layer and select the polygonal lasso tool. Zoom in with Control and the plus sign or Hold Alt and use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. Change the foreground color. Start creating a path just like this one. You will see a selection created when the path is united. Go to the Layers panel and hide that layer with the mask attached. Press Alt plus Backspace or Delete to fill in the selection with the foreground color sampled earlier. Unhide that layer. Press Ctrl plus D to remove the selection. Select that layer, drag it beneath all the layers, and rearrange the other one accordingly. Select the mask. To make it more visible, zoom in with Ctrl and the plus sign. Use the polygonal lasso tool to create a path just like this. Press Alt plus Delete to remove that area. Press D to remove the selection and release the tool. Select the main shape layer and go to the fill settings and choose a gradient color. Double click on the layer thumbnail to bring this pop up and let's change the colors accordingly. The gradient from the left is dark which stands for the shadows, transitioning gradually to the tint, which indicates the highlights in the ribbon. This will make it look embossed and realistic from the surface. You can use any color of your choice, but make sure one is darker and the other lighter to make it stand out. Open the gradient and click on New to create a copy. This will be used later when applying the color on the remaining shapes. Select the other shape and change the fill to a gradient type and choose the gradient we created earlier. Just change the angle of the gradient. Hold Ctrl and select both layers and create a copy like so. Press Ctrl plus T and reposition the copied layer. Right click and flip it horizontal and again flip it vertically. Press Ctrl and the plus sign to zoom in. Make sure you align it properly and then confirm the changes. Select the last layer from the top. Hold Shift and click on the first one to select all. Press Ctrl plus G to put them into a group. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the group. Turn off the background fill. For a reference purpose, unhide the main one. Right click on the duplicated group and merge it. Turn on the background. Press Ctrl plus T and scale it down if you want to do so. Make sure you hold Shift plus Alt while resizing it to maintain the proportion. To make one side smaller than the other, considering a question asked in the comment section of the tutorial in the playlist concerning ribbon creation, this is how to do it. Press Ctrl plus T. Click on the warp icon and right click and choose Split Warp vertically. To make one side smaller than the other, use the controller to manipulate it. And also you can go to the warp settings and even add more tweaks just the way you want it. Wait, we are not done yet. Assuming you want to change the color to something different, click on the adjustment icon and apply hue and saturation. Now you can move the controller or the slider around to choose the exact color you want. Do you want to save this ribbon for use in your projects? Turn off the background and go to File, Export, and click on Export As.
change the format option to PNG and make sure the transparency box is checked. Click on Export, enter the file name, and save it. Awesome! I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're feeling inspired to put your new skills into action. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll join our growing community and never miss out on our latest tutorials, tips, and tricks designed just for you. Plus, it helps us create even more valuable content that you love.